What's up guys, it's your boy Buddy here and I'm back again with another video and today I'm gonna teach you how to vlog. And to do that, we're gonna go on a vlog together. Let's go. So as I'm sure you're wondering, how do you become a vlogger? How do you get into it? Honestly guys, there's no perfect science. It's kind of one of those things where you just find what's what you're comfortable with and you go with it. So I would say that that's step number one. Be yourself. Go find something that you're passionate about, whether it's cars, whether it's food, whether it's your family, whether it's travel. Go after that, vlog about that. This is internet reality. People want raw, they want you, they wanna know more about you. It's not necessarily the circumstances that you're in, but actually the person that you are. So make sure that you be yourself. So for me today, I'm gonna be myself and I'm gonna enjoy my weekend with my family and we're gonna go to Donuts here at Blinky's Donuts. So I'm gonna share more of that with you. Cue the B-roll. And that brings me to step number two. Connect with your audience. Connecting with your audience is very important because that is the way that you continue to grow your audience. Because if you can't build a connection, then no one's gonna wanna watch your vlog. So you have to make a connection. You have to connect with the person that's on the other side of the lens, on the other side of YouTube, and make a point to involve them in your vlog. One way that I like to connect with the audience is talking directly into camera. Talking directly into camera treats the person who's watching your vlog almost as like they're your best friend or they're a friend that's along for the ride to enjoy the experience with you. Vlogging is all about making it a shared experience and you have to connect with your audience to do that. Another way to connect is by engaging and interacting with your audience. Engage with those on social media, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, you name it. Get on there and engage with your audience because if you're not delivering content, whether it be on any of those platforms, then you're failing. So you have to engage and you have to involve your audience as well. Create a discussion in the YouTube comments. Create a discussion on Instagram stories. Make a point to involve those that are watching because the more and more that you do that, hold for playing. It's almost, it's like over there right now. By plane. So the more that you get your audience involved, the more that your community is gonna grow. So make a point to connect with your audience, engage and interact. Step number three, consistency. In order to have a successful vlog, you have to be consistent. That doesn't mean you have to upload a video every single day. You just have to make sure that you create a schedule and you stick to it. It allows you to keep your audience's attention. It allows you to stay on top of keeping your audience engaged and ready for your videos. Yes, you may not be releasing a video every single day, but if you're doing just one day a week, make sure you stick to that schedule. Stick to Monday at 9 a.m., stick to Wednesday at 10 a.m., whatever your schedule is, stick to it so that your audience can be informed and know exactly when your videos are coming. If you're not able to stick to a certain schedule, at least make sure that you're consistent with keeping your audience informed on when that upload is gonna take place. If you're not gonna make Monday, make sure that you're communicating to your audience that it's gonna be Wednesday at 10 a.m. or it's gonna be Friday at 3 p.m. But you have to be consistent on communicating with your audience and letting them know when the video is gonna be released because the more consistent that you are, the more consistent your audience is gonna be when they're showing up for your vlog. So make sure that you stay consistent, stay on top of your schedule, and make sure that you communicate with them exactly when and where they're gonna be able to receive the content. Moving on. Tip number four, develop your own style. Buddy, what does that mean? What I mean is find something that's comfortable with you and just go have fun and create. You don't have to go out and copy the Logan Pauls and the Casey Neistats and the Peter McKinnons and the Yoon Olsen's and the Alejandro Solomon. You don't have to go out and do that. Up. Oh. Hold for helicopter. Hold for helicopter. You see it? As I was saying, develop your own style. It's okay to start out and use those guys as inspiration. You know, Logan Paul, he's the type, 
him and Jake Paul, they're the kind that they're a little more chaotic. Their cuts are, are very quick. Their pacing is, keeps the thing moving forward. The storyline is bouncing back and forth. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of high energy. That's okay if you're that type of person, but if you're, if you're more laid back, kind of relaxed type of person, don't take on that style because most likely that's not gonna work for you. Focus on developing your own style. For me personally, I enjoy watching people like Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat simply because they're a little more relaxed and they're a little more laid back and they love to focus on the cinematography and they love to focus on the B-roll. B-roll is very important to me because that helps me tell the story and move the story along. And in the next video, I'm actually gonna show you how to make the most epic B-roll possible with the equipment that you have. So stay tuned for that. So as I was saying, I really enjoy the B-roll that they do because it helps push that story along. It helps you discover the narrative about where you are, where you're going, what you're doing. It helps set the tone of the actual video. And also with, with that style, you wanna focus on pacing. As I was saying a minute ago with the Logan Paul videos and how high energy and chaotic his videos are, that's because his pacing is very important to him. It helps keep the audience engaged. And you can do that with a more relaxed vibe similar to Casey Neistat and Peter McKinnon because they're keeping you interested in the story by the visuals and the music and the tone of the video. So it's very critical to me that you develop your own style and that you understand the power of storytelling and how to pace your videos and the way that you wanna shoot it because all in all, that is what's gonna be your collective style and the way that you present your material. So make sure you develop that style or, or start out by building upon what others have laid out for you and that will help you grow. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, that is one of the biggest key elements for your vlog is discovering your style and developing it and making it exactly who you are. By the way, I'm out here in the middle of a lake with a life vest that I don't think is gonna save me. So I should probably get back and find my family. I am way out here. And this little guy is Tate. The poor little dude has been sick all week, but he's finally feeling much better. And he has just been laughing up a storm at all the little kids running around, all the ducks and squirrels. He has had a blast out here today. So I'm glad that he's feeling much better. So I think I'm gonna take step number five onto the bikes. Let's see how that goes. Good job, yeah. Tucker, here we go. Are you having fun? Yeah. Hands up. <laughs> And that brings me to my final tip. Just go out and do it. Get over your fear, don't be afraid. Go out and film your vlog. You're not ever gonna learn to be a vlogger without taking that first step and just doing it because you're gonna fail, you're gonna mess up. It happens, but that's how we learn. That's how we become better. We learn from our mistakes, we grow, and we build upon those things. You winded, baby. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I think I bit off more than I could chew here. Get over your fear of failing and understanding that failure is one of the best ways that you can learn. That's exactly how you're gonna become a better vlogger is by just going out and doing it. You never know what you're gonna find out there in the world. Just like today, we found this Surrey and we found out that that steering wheel over there doesn't work and so I'm having to film and control this at the same time and my quads are on fire and I'm dying. But that's okay. Just take a deep breath, go out there, have fun, enjoy your day, and understand that vlogging is a raw, real experience, and people wanna share that with you. Are you having fun, dude? Yeah. yeah. Tuck, you having fun? Well, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're able to take some of this information I shared with you and learn how to become a vlogger. I know that I didn't go into a lot of details, but maybe over the course of this channel, we'll start chipping away at some of those details so that we can continue to grow together as a community. I'm gonna go have fun with my family, but I wanna ask you one question. Who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl this year? My guess is the Patriots. Let me know what you think down below. Please make sure to hit subscribe, like the video, comment. If you haven't hit the little bell, make sure you hit that so that you receive a notification every time I upload a video. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you next time.